In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic enhanced tag column chart. For example, if I just go to my data sheet and I update this video, let's say 5000, hit enter, the chart will automatically update as well as the ribbon will also automatically update. So how we can create this amazing chart in a very few steps, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider we have this data sheet. The first thing we need to select all of the data sheet. Go to insert, click recommended chart, click all chart, select the stake column chart, choose the first layout, hit OK. This will create a basic column chart. The next thing I will delete the title, simply click hit delete key. Now I will select the chart, hit Ctrl C and hit Ctrl V. Now I will simply go to change chart type, select the combo chart and here you can see store 1, 2, 3 and also another group store 1, 2, 3. For the first 3 store, we will convert them into stake column chart. Simply select the drop down, select stake column chart and this will convert the first group automatically to stake column chart. For the next 3 store, we need to convert one by one to stake area chart. I will hit OK. Now we will do a little bit formatting. I will click the first series of stake column chart. Go to format, click shape fill. Here I will select the dark blue ascent 3, darker 25% and I will select the stake area chart, shape fill and I will select the light blue color for them. I will select the next series of stake column chart, shape fill. I will select the pink color. I will select the stake area chart. For the shape fill, I will choose light pink color. Now I will select the last series of stake column chart, shape fill. In this case, I want blue ascent 5, darker 25%. And for the stake area chart, I will select the light color. Now I will apply the outline on stake area chart. I will click the first stake area, shape outline. I will choose the white color. Click again, weight. In this case, I will select one point weight. Select the second stake area for the shape outline. I will select one point and for the color, I will choose white color. I will select the last one shape outline white color and for the weight, I will choose one point. I think better to remove the grid line as well and also better to remove the vertical x axis. We need to increase the size of chart a little bit more. If you want to increase the column width, you can simply right click on the column, click format. And if you decrease the gap width, it will increase the width of the column. Now I will apply the data label. Simply click this plus button, data label. And better to convert black color to white, simply select. Choose the white color for your data label. And hit Ctrl B to bold them. Click white color, hit Ctrl B. Click white color, hit Ctrl B. Our chart is almost ready now. We need to delete the duplicate store name. So we simply click on the legend and click again on store one. This will select only store one, hit delete key, click again. This will select the entire legend, click again. This will select store two, hit delete key. And I will do the same step for store three. I hope you learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have time, please share this video as well. Thank you so much.